Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a wonderful box that has been sent to me for review. It's actually I think the first time I've opened this box this year even though it is a monthly subscription. It's called Bird Moss. Now this is a very unique subscription. It is not for everyone because it is very mystical, magical, it really stokes your creativity whether you are a writer or an artist or if you just like to imagine different worlds. I think the best thing I can do for you is read the description, but just a few little details. It is $45 per month. I do have a savings code for you. It's just my name, N-O-E-L, and that'll save you $10. But as always, I'll leave all of that important information for you in the description box below. Bird Moss Box subscribers say it's like getting a daydream in the mail. I, I know, it's very different, like I said, from other boxes. With each box, you'll receive works of art and self-care rituals that engage all of the senses to create an immersive, magical experience. Think of it as a package from a friend who cherishes your delightful heart and spirit. So sometimes it's a little bit quirky, sometimes it's a little bit witchy. Uh, again, often there's a DIY project to stoke that creativity. It says your boxes are accompanied by poetry and prose which tell of a gifted dreamer. You are that dreamer and this is your story. Some letters and documents arrive inside your monthly box and others are emailed to you. So it's this whole world of bird moss and every month there is a theme. We encounter different characters or elements within this world and I just think it's this really fun immersive experience. Now some of the items definitely have like the value that you would see in a regular lifestyle or self-care uh, box and then some of them are a little bit more um, little touchstones or little amulets or things that might not necessarily have a high retail value for you or might not have a high function rating but they do add to the experience and for me I just think it is so unique and so special and I really love that sort of a little sliding doors moment where we go into this other world for a little bit so let's open it up so inside there's usually of course our poem gather pen paper matches that's on the interior of every box and then some dark tissue paper and a beautiful seal and then you open that seal up and we will have yes our beautiful card which tells us that this is the dragons the ardent dragons so it almost looks like a tarot card right this beautiful art card and then it tells us about the theme on the back so let me read that to you it says the dragons of bird moss settle in the most remote mountaintops where the rocky terrain is seamed with quartz and gold and glistening shale they re rely primarily on crystals and metals for sustenance the high mineral content of this diet supports the growth of strong iridescent scales mining sufficient stockpiles occupies most of their time they dig deep into the earth for food and then use the resulting caverns to store their hoard. Their unusual metabolism results in a high body temperature. The ardent warmth of the dragon's sleeping chambers where they pile together at night would be unbearable for other creatures. The daily toil of mining is offset by sensory pleasures, waking and stretching in the furnace-like heat, bursting into the cool morning outside, scales steaming, cavorting and tumbling in the air, swallowing a laz lozenge-shaped ruby. So they have fire and jewels within them, right? Kind of fun. I love the uh, symbol of a dragon. I just think it's awesome. And then in addition to that beautiful art card, we also get on parchment paper this uh, annotated list of the items inside and they're often sort of uh, told uh, you get told about them in a kind of a narrative form, but I love all of the little handwritten notes and drawings that accompany it. So I'll do my best to read it in the order in which they appear. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to find the actual item, uh, just because sometimes they have names that uh, you might call it something else in our world and something else in the world of bird moss, but it says inside the mountain, you dream to the foot of a mountain. She rises in the distance like a column of smoke. And then there's this beautiful uh, sort of silhouette outline of a dragon with wings. So we have one, two, three, four, five items. I will do my best, like I said, to show them all to you. Oh goodness, there are some really cool things in here as usual. And then there is usually a little spoiler card 
for the next one. So yes, indeed, it says in February, I know February's already passed, in February, explore the hot springs and there's usually a little charm. So this time we got this really cute little star. It doesn't look like it's actually a charm that you could add to a charm bracelet, but just a little little touchstone, little hint at what's, what's ahead for us. So always such a fun little treat. So let's see, the first thing it says is a dragon call. I don't hear it. It says, the crows have sent you a brass whistle. Use it to summon a dragon from the top of the mountain. Oh, wow. So here is our brass whistle with this dragon head on it. Isn't that amazing? I see you get things in this box that you would never get. But yes, it is a whistle. Wow. And then it has a circle in the mouth so you could wear it on a chain. That's kind of cool. Um, let me see if I can hold it up for you guys so you can see it in all its detail while I read about it. Use it to summon a dragon from the top of the mountain. When she approaches, you are surprised by the comforting warmth which emanates from her iridescent scales. She carries you to her village to meet her family. You can use your whistle to summon help in your world too. Attach it to your key ring or carry it in your purse. Yes, so it's a little help whistle. Mm-hmm. Should I blow it? Am I gonna like blow out your eardrums? Probably. I could have blown that a lot harder and a lot louder, but that is kind of a cool thing to have on your keychain. I'm into that. I think that's a useful, but also kind of magical item. All right, next. Along the side, it says, the dragons love things that are dazzling and catch the light, like their scales. So we also have a dragon eye stone. Hmm. It says, the dragons perceive the world as a collection of facets, allowing them to spot the glint of a crystal from a great distance. This piece of windowed quartz gives you some idea of what they see. Use it for glimpsing or as a worry stone. Include it in your practice when you need to filter out distractions. I'm wondering what I'm looking for here. So I see that. I see that. I see that. So I think it's this windowed quartz. So yes, it just looks like a rough stone, kind of like a pink quartz. I don't know if you guys can see the pink. And then it has been faceted here, so like rubbed smooth. So that's the window that they're talking about. So you can use it for glimpsing, or you can use it as a worry stone. Or I like to put my beautiful rocks and gems in my house plants, just as a little extra decor, a little extra element of nature. But um, or apparently you can use it to help filter out distractions for clarity there. Now you can see some of that pink. I like how they uh, polish that one edge so that you can either have it sitting down and then you tip it up and find your future. I'm kidding. I don't know. It came in a cute little velvet pouch too. So this is an example of one of those items that for those of you who like to correct, collect rocks or gemstones or associate certain properties or characteristics to certain stones, this is a lovely item. For some of you, it might just be decoration. You're like, really? This is, this is what I'm getting as a rock. But I totally understand both points of view. I think it's a really pretty rock that I'm going to put in my houseplant. All right. We also got, it says, and there's a little sparkle. It says, at first, you think they're serving a bowl of berries and pomegranate seeds. So here we have this. But of course, we know from that intro that they are rubies that the dragons like to eat. Wow, they have expensive appetites. We got some gold dust. So bright gold tinker dust, it says. So we just got this little jar of it. Let's see if I can get that to focus. It says, your hosts understand that you cannot join their feast of amethyst points, so they have prepared another dish for you, a bowl of nuts and raisins. The dragons do not see the appeal of such things, so they've dusted your food with a bit of gold glitter to make it more appetizing. Your edible glitter can be added to drinks, sprinkled on baked goods, or even smudged on your collarbones. Add a little to a few drops of water to make a glistening edible paint. How fun! How fun. It says, then you realize that it's filled with garnets and rubies and amethyst chips. That's in uh, relation to the berries and pomegranate seeds. Oh, this is nice. So you can screw off the cap, but it also has like a little lid, I think, so that you can sprinkle. So yes, so you can also do it in a smaller quantity. That's great. And just, uh, I need to peel off the top layer, but let's see if I can open it up carefully. At least if I inhale this dust, it's edible dust. Oh, see, it's already sealed. But can you guys see the, I don't want to open it up and make a mess. But edible glitter is so fun and it's a really fine one. So yes, you could definitely use it on your skin as a little highlight. But I love the idea of making some fancy cocktails and calling them your dragon martinis and 
putting a little gold dust on the top or just to make uh, chocolates or baked goods look a little fancier just a little dusting of gold so pretty all right let's see oh we got a little key to our crystal rocks so this one and they're all circled well this one says gray is for reevaluation, and it's circled in that same little script but mine i think was the rose quartz which is confidence pink yeah i think that's what it was for all right let's see we also got i feel like i did get some gold dust on me it says we also got this beautiful embroidered velvet pouch when away from home the dragons carry a small pouch of crystals or coins just in case hunger strikes strikes you receive one for your own hoard your handmade pouch is embroidered with a colorful pattern evoking the gem-like succulent plants that grow amidst the rocks quicken it with a special coin or stone and by quicken it's kind of like season or like you know bring it into use bring it awaken it right so but look at i wanted to show you this gorgeous emerald green velvet on the back because you probably couldn't see it with all the embroidery isn't that pretty i know it's kind of mesmerizing so nice uh, embroidered pouch little coin pouch it does have a little lining not a lot's going to fit in there but you could definitely put your stones in there you could definitely put some jewelry in there coin pouch too it's really pretty yeah you can see all that embroidery all right you guys, while we're at it, let's have a secret password. Let's have it be the obvious one. It's going to be dragon. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is linked for you in the description box below. And then also usually the first pinned comment. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or Canadian mailing address and you do have to be subscribed to my channel, but it doesn't have to be publicly. I can actually verify with you via email and screenshots, but just as a reminder, it's not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. It's just my way of sort of sharing the wealth and thanking you for watching my videos, which are usually daily, but I am going to take a little break and go every other day for the next couple of weeks. Uh, but it is dragon for today, just as a reminder. But what I do is uh, about the sixth of the month. So I give you five days into the following month. I'll go through and I'll use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos. So each secret password that you find, and there's not one in every video, but there's usually on average about a dozen. Uh, sometimes there's extra bonus secret passwords over in the Nobot Nook. Each secret password is an entry. And then I select a few winners to receive those mystery boxes. So if you ever have any questions, you can let me know in the comments below, or better yet, join the Nobot Nook. That's easier to answer questions sometimes. Remember, don't put the secret password down into the comments. Make sure it's in the form. And then good luck, I suppose. All right, you guys, let's see. We have one more item. We have an embellished bookmark. So it's called that in Bird Moss and in, in our world too, but I have to see if I can get it to to show with this gorgeous stone. Do you see that like gray green stone there at the top? Very like dragony colored. I think that's so pretty. So we have this embellished bookmark. It's got like engraving along the side. So this will dangle out over the binding or on the cover of your book. It says, your time with the dragons reminds you of the simple joys that come from living ardently. Allow yourself to read, write, and cook with enthusiasm. Surround yourself with little touches that bring you happiness. Your hook style bookmark features a sparkling rhinestone and a dragon charm. Slide the hook between the pages of a book to mark your spot. There are stories of a subterranean spring warmed by the dragons. Ooh, that's cool. So, oh, maybe it was for this, the crystal rocks. Maybe this is, is this considered gray? I suppose it is. So that's why it was circled. So the pink quartz, I'm going to say that was for confidence, but this gray one which I feel like has undertones of green, don't you guys think? So this one is for reevaluation. Uh-oh. I have some reevaluation on the way, but look how pretty that is. And then yes, it's a little dragon charm at the bottom. So I don't usually use this kind of bookmark in my books if they're like really nice editions uh, where I don't want the pages to get bent because that can happen when you do that, especially if the book's kind of weighty. But I think they also, this is so funny, I kind of think they make nice plant charms as well because they have this nice stick. And then if you have them like in your window box, like I have most of my plants, then they catch the light. It's really fun. But this one actually is a little bit thinner than some of the others that I've seen. So I could see myself using that 
or if you just are displaying the spines of all of your beautiful classic leather bound books, I think this would be a great one. You know, maybe you have the Game of Thrones collection and you have this little bookmark sticking out. I just think it's a nice way of sort of decorating your bookshelf without having too many tchotchkes and extra things. So beautiful bookmarks are lovely. So let's go over, let's see, sometimes there's writing on the back, so I had to make sure. Let's go over everything that we got, and then you guys can let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. So we had this dragon call whistle. I thought that was really cool. We got our dragon's eye stone, because it has that window polished into it. Our gold dust, which I think it's so fun that it's edible. There, you guys can really see that gold on the bottom here focus. We got our embroidered velvet pouch. I could keep all of these goodies in there. And then finally, our beautiful embellished bookmark. And I love the gray, honestly. I think that is very me to have a gray but sparkly stone. I think my favorite thing is honestly the dragon whistle. I think that is so unique and something that I could see myself actually putting on my keychain and using or just having in my purse in case I need a whistle. Um, but you guys let me know what your favorite was in this uh, box this time around. I am so glad. I was getting a little bit worried that I was maybe not going to get bird moss boxes to review this year but thank you to Shannon for sending this along and if you kind of think this might be something that you enjoy by all means definitely subscribe she almost always sells out but she almost always has all kinds of deals for new subscribers as well and then you get these fun sort of poetic uh, emails in your inbox as well throughout the month so again it's Noel for ten dollars off thank you so much for watching my video if you missed it there was a secret password make sure you go back and find that and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing which will probably be in a couple of days